for staying with us as we look back at memorable moments of 2012. Who can forget the social media faux pas of media darlings, like the discovery that Lady Gaga's feed is full of fakes, or Kim Kardashian's war of words with the star of, Ma of Mad Men. Joining us, social media and marketing expert, Tracy Repchuk. Thanks so much for being here. Thanks so and much for having me. You're the author of a, you're a marketing expert, and this is your book. We're gonna take a shot of it. Uh, but first of all, let me ask you, you said there are, there are do's and don'ts on Facebook, and we can remember, or on all social media, and we can remember the don'ts by remembering the word clout with a K, K-L-O-U-T. Tell me, what's K? Okay, so K is to, uh, it sounds opposite, but it's keep yapping. And what I mean by that is Twitter has 140 characters, you know, and, and that's a good thing. Sometimes we can say it really simply. So we say too much a lot, and we talk too long. And so it's about getting our point across, so just... Don't, don't keep yapping. Exactly. Yeah, and L stands for lie, I think, right? You're right, yeah. yeah. It, it's, it's become a trend now where people think it's interesting or, or like a joke. Kids are joking with it, and uh, companies are posting up testimonials. Not only is this not a good thing to do from that perspective, but, you know, uh, at, bureaus can come down on a business and, and shut you from small little white lies that you're stretching on your internet mm -hmm. and social media. Uh, what's the O stand for? Over posting. For goodness sakes, no. we don't need to know everything that you're doing play by play throughout the day. Really, make it engaging, enlightening, and educational. That's what you should be talking about. And overposting really also does diminish the impact, too. If, you just, if you're always on there, then, I mean, people just, it's white noise, essentially. You're absolutely right. We're stop listening. Yeah, absolutely. You. What's you? You. Using a fake identity. This has become something where, where on Facebook and Twitter in particular, people are opening up these fake accounts, and they're liking themselves, and they're having these little two-way fake conversations. Mm -hmm. Absolutely do not do that. What You're about get all the reviews? When I look at a company's reviews, I don't believe them because I think it's their employees or the owners going on there writing the reviews. And you're right. In many cases, these fake accounts and they're paying people to go and write reviews. So keep it legitimate. This is a place for authenticity. This is for us to engage and to relate and to be able to really communicate around the world and make an impact. It's not designed for, you know, creating this fake, yeah. fake bureaucracy. T. So T. Then, and the, you know, unfortunately, the celebrities are great for this. And this is, you know, talking trash. You know, your, your divorces, your problems with your boss, your problems with employees, your problems with customers, whatever it is, don't engage and put that on the do internet. You, do you find that the worst, is this a generational thing? Are younger people greater offenders, or is this an equal age opportunity <laughs> offense going on here? I mean, I'm, we're all bad at it. I think we're all bad at it. I think a lot of times, uh, particularly in our age bracket, we forget that thing's there forever now. And so we might just, in the heat of the moment, you know, boom, something goes out and we can't take it oh, back. I think younger people think that too. And, yeah. and young people are completely oblivious to the longevity and the impact this is going to have. You know, college years, employment opportunities, yeah. all could go down the drain from, from saying something incorrectly. Is there too much made of how many followers you have? I always feel like I'm out of this race to get followers. I really don't don't care. I want the people who want to hear what I have to say to follow me. You're absolutely right. This isn't a game of, of you know village building. This is a game of creating a community where you can engage, enlighten, educate those that want to know you, like you, and trust you. Well, those are interesting tips, and hopefully we'll follow them. Tracy Rebchak, appreciate your time today. Thank you for coming on our program. Thank you, Jeff. And Dana. Resolution we're going to try to keep around.